You're listening to the Valley Labor Report with David Story and Jacob Morrison. Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's uh, let's take our first call. Uh, we had Charles wanting to get in on the boss bashing hotline. Charles, what you got for us? Hey, y'all. Uh, well, first, first of all, um, you know, solidarity with everyone listening and solidarity with the striking miners in Brookwood right yes. now. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And before I get into the boss, just I just want to appreciate the international solidarity that y'all just expressed um, with the working class and countries that are really experiencing that kind of oppression that may not, you know, that may feel like a distant memory here. Mm -hmm. Um, So I just want to say that I appreciate that. But uh, I just finished a 16 hour work day um, under the ostensibly extremely progressive boss that I have right now. And Something I wanted to bring up is, that, you know, I've usually been working in a small businesses, like very small group, less than 10. And, you know, a lot of times the bosses will tell you that, you know, we're a family and we're close and, you know, yeah, things are limited and you may not have any benefits and you may work 10 or more hours a day. You may have to work weekends all the time, but what makes up for it is that, we're a family and that we're close and all that kind of stuff. And that's, uh, it's, it's just not enough, you know, uh, it's not enough to, to not have a weekend. You know, these things that we're talking about celebrating on May day, the fact that we have an eight hour work day, the fact that we have a weekend, the fact that we have not just time to sleep and work, but for what we will. Hmm. And, you know, um, and, Go ahead. I, I was going to say, you know, this whole concept of family and team and all of this, and the fact that they're you're the the, the, the employer, you as an employee are willing to sacrifice uh, in many cases in these small businesses, and 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 I think that's a wonderful thing. But if it's a family, how about we share in the business? Let's make it a family business, and let's make it worker owned instead of boss owned, and then. As the people sacrifice to do these jobs that, you know, maybe 16 hours and maybe work on the weekends, then they reap the rewards equally instead of working for one person to reap all the rewards. And they share in the business growth, and it, and it gives them a more uh, stable financial future. The harder they work, the more they make. You know, that, that whole family right. talk is always... It's always iffy with me because if we're a family, then let's let's split up the company equally and we'll all share in the resources as we all struggle. Yeah, the family talk don't pay the rent. No shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're on the radio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so th- the other thing I wanted to bring up too is that the uh, the you know I've had a, a lot of my bosses. You know, they've been personal. Like I said, they're smaller, smaller groups. They've been personal folks. A lot of them have been ostensibly very progressive mm-hmm. on issues, you know, across the board. They're not on issues where it doesn't affect uh, the, their bottom line, right? Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's, that's it. It's ninety ninety percent progressive. We agree on a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. and until it comes to the point where I say. You know, where I ask, like, can I get a little bit of a raise or can I do this? And, you know, in a small, in a very small business, sometimes where there's no real bargaining unit to build, you know, that that ends up being a really isolating, um, Charles, that's that's exactly right. If you want to stay on the line, we can pick it up on the other side of the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Valley Labor Report on this, the holiest of days, May Day 2021, International Workers' Day, the real Labor Day. We are coming to you live 
online and on the radio on WVNN in the Huntsville Decatur Athens listening area. We have opened the lines for boss bashing on Lord. International Workers Day. What a dead gum! And got the hey, look at that. The lines are the lines are are going crazy. Charles, I'm not sure if that was if we lost you because that was our fault or if you said everything that you wanted to say. So I apologize, Charles. Uh, Char- either Charles hung up or we hung up on Charles. But what he was saying at the end was really important. That he's got he has worked for a lot of bosses that say they're progressive that have all these progressive kind of liberal opinions on things that don't uh, don't hurt the bottom line like oh you want to you want to be gay I don't care if you want to be gay that makes me a friend of the worker no it doesn't how about you give your gay workers a raise okay that's what you can do to help the LGBTQ community how about you give your black and brown workers a raise that's what you can do to help the black and brown community how, how about, about how you, about you fight legislation that allows everyone every business in the United States to terminate right. a worker because of their sexual preference, which is yeah. still legal today. How about you recognize, uh, uh, you, how about you give them collective bargaining power? How about you don't fight their union organizing efforts? Uh, a, th- a common saying in the labor movement is, a boss is a boss is a boss. And it doesn't matter what their ostensible political prognostications are when things start hitting their bottom line they're going to be a capitalist and so you've got to watch out for these people that act like they're family and act like they're good and progressive and liberal and whatever uh you know until they walk the walk don't believe them and uh and and don't ask them for what you deserve take it uh organized union if you want to see what we're up to throughout the week and get our snide quips about the news of the day then you should follow us on social media we're on facebook at facebook.com slash the valley labor report we're on twitter at labor reporters i'm on twitter at jacob m underscore a l david is on twitter at radical unionist that's spelled r-a-d-i-c-l unionist if you missed part of the show and want to go back and watch it later you can search youtube for the valley labor report and subscribe to our channel You can go back and watch the full show there, and we also clip segments uh, and release them throughout the week. We upload the program on more than 11 different podcasting apps, so to see if we are on your listening platform of choice, you can go to thevalleylaborreport.transistor.fm slash subscribe. We've got a website where you can find our fantastic union-made hats. Adam is modeling one on the stream for us right now. They're $35. They include shipping. And uh, you can also get stickers, stuff like that, uh, on thevalleylaborreport.org. And finally, if you appreciate our work and want to keep us on the air, consider throwing us a couple dollars a month on patreon.com slash thevalleylaborreport.org.